Okay. Yeah, here. We are a nation in decline. We are a failing nation. If, if, if we're a nation in decline, only two years right. after he left, like, bro, like, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then you didn't do a good job like putting up some some buffers to make sure we could make it through the four years of a uh, dark brandon or whatever he had no problem taking all the like the the good stuff that happened from stuff obama put into place the first two years into his presidency right yeah of course not we had a glorious nation but by january 21st 2021 we'd fallen back into ruin the rivers <laughs> ran red with blood yeah no longevity in this mega movement We are a nation that has the highest inflation in over 40 years. Where the stock market just finished the worst first half of a year in more than five decades. We are a nation that has the highest energy cost in its history. And we are no longer energy independent or energy dominant, which we were just two short years ago. We are a nation that is begging Venezuela and Saudi Arabia for oil. Wait, he has a problem with Saudi? Wait, since when has he had a problem with Oops. fucking Saudi just oil? fucking golf with them. What the fuck? The touching their He wasn't orbs. begging them for anything. Yeah, he was just asking are, politely. You, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nation that surrendered in Afghanistan. So yeah, we're a nation that surrendered in Afghanistan. Wasn't he trying to pull them out of Afghanistan? It was Afghanistan? his timeline. Yeah, Biden literally followed his timeline. It was literally Trump's Trump's fucking program and, and the whole <laughs> nine cards and like nah it doesn't count because I because I wasn't actually there and it was done terribly even though it was done to exactly exactly how I said it needed to be done all the right people were not the right people okay okay cool. leaving behind dead soldiers American citizens and eighty five billion dollars worth of the finest military equipment in the world. We are a nation that allowed Russia to devastate a country, Ukraine, killing hundreds of thousands of people, and it will only get worse. We are a nation that has weaponized its law enforcement against the opposing political party like never before. We've never seen anything like this. We are a nation that no longer has a free and fair press. The way this is shot, it looks like a scene from a movie. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty well... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty well put together. It's just... I like... Uh, I mean, I want to be a fucking nerd and be like, everything you did made this worse, or you have no solution, or it's not even a real problem, or, like, everything's right. wrong, of course, but, like, you know, fucking, like, we know, like, whatever, you know. Yeah, everybody, yeah. everybody fucking knows. <laughs> it's so fucking nuts. I don't care about anything Donald Trump did other than the fact that he inspired all that MAGA rap. Oh. That shit's unforgivable. Like Tom yeah. McDonald? Zuby. Oh, God. Fuck. Billy hates a lot of different types of like like categorized rap, like school rap, like when a teacher raps to their class. Billy hates that. It. Billy was like, "There's only one time where I wish there would be a shooting." Yeah, oh. like if if it's gonna happen anyways, <laughs> why can't it be now? Yeah, I will. I will agree that when it comes to trying to to pop one off, you know, I would. I would like. This is also a bad trend. If especially if they're white, you know, don't rap. Pull out an acoustic guitar, strum two chords, and like do melodic singing over it, and you're pr probably going to be a lot less cringe than trying to, you know, wrap it out. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. Fake news is about all you get. We are a nation where free speech is no longer allowed. <laughs> There's all these horrible scenes: war in Ukraine, people being ran over by an airplane. Uh, <laughs> And, and, and this this is like the the, the darkest timeline. Account suspended. <laughs> it, it, it genuinely reads like a parody. Like, how would we make fun of Trump? You know, well, well, the third item he brings up, of course, has to be the Twitter suspension. Just blow this up across the video. Account suspended. The, like it's it's like they're fucking um nine eleven. Yeah. But like never before. Where oh. the economy has been collapsing, where more people died of COVID in 2021 than in 2020. Okay, so he's saying because less people died of COVID when he was president, 
you that is you how mean, pandemics work they do right the yeah. number do go up and it's been known to happen when we were stuck inside for 2020 we couldn't we couldn't leave or go to work and then they started pushing us into the workforce and it started spreading more and it, it's about how it would work when people started to say fuck this this thing i'm going to go do christmas and then Christmas is at the end of the year, and by New Year's, everybody's sick, and the hospitals are full again. Oh, that's exactly how this works, yes. Plus that's on you, Papa. Delta and Omicron now, which are way more transmittable than the original, than Alpha was. Um, oh, yeah. It's kind of crazy. If we could go back to, like, Alpha coronavirus, how, like, like it's so much easier to deal with. Every, like, everything got worse with time, and it's still getting worse, because we have the new Omicron, what is it, Omicron D? What's the name of the new... Sub variant of Omicron that's it's Omicron Deluxe, yeah. Let's <laughs> Omicron Deluxe, yeah, yeah. Of course, I'm sure that's what they meant when they named it that. Yeah, we are a nation that is allowing Iran to build a massive nuclear weapon and China to use the trillions and trillions of dollars it's taken from the United States to build a military to rival our own. We are a nation that over the past two years is no longer respected or listened to all around the world. And we are a nation that is hostile to liberty and freedom and faith. We are a nation whose economy is floundering, whose stores are not stocked, whose deliveries are not coming, and whose educational system is ranked at the- Deliveries are not coming? Like our Amazon, what is he? Uh, is he talking about the ships that are sitting off port and everything's just not able to dock? That's like supply chain stuff. I don't know. Maybe that's what he's talking about. I think he's but... talking about Amazon. I think he's. I think he's just like, yeah, you know, like the, the shit's taking an extra day to get in. You know, he's really hitting <laughs> on the problem people have. Even when you have Prime, it's taking two days. Was he was he going to deploy a, a team that just goes out and stops people from taking the packages off my porch? What's Prime about two days? Prime was one day, two days isn't prime, it's subprime. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, Oops. <laughs> oh my. Bottom of every list. We are a nation that in many ways has become a joke. But soon oh, we will have we're in color again. now. The music's positive now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It is insane. Just entered Oz. That we're getting this in 2022. The, when the, did two years before the election you know right when when what at what time did this come out today uh i'm not sure or something like that because i have a theory I'll, I'll tell my theory after this is over yeah it was hard-working patriots like you who built this country and it is hard-working patriots like the you who are the sound is signaling the storm through the queue dorks right probably probably <laughs> there is no mountain we cannot climb there is no no summit we cannot reach. Now, when there you say no hardworking summit. people like you who built this country, does that not account for slavery since they technically weren't working? I don't, they were working. They weren't getting paid. Does that count as work? Yes. Okay. I think the MAGA movement officially denies the existence of slavery historically. Um, uh. <laughs> if, you, if you read that 1776 report where they talked about slavery as a challenge to U.S. values, the way they write about it, the, to the extent they do, makes it sound like George Washington was building America and then, like, foreigners brought five million slaves over and they were like, okay, here, deal with this, and then ran away. And it was like a challenge <laughs> brought upon us, inflicted upon us, that we heroically overcame with our liberty and freedom afterwards. Trying to, <laughs> like... What do I do with all of these slaves? Like, oh, wow. gee, folk, I, we'll try our best, you know, and we, we heroically <laughs> white savored them out of the you slavery. Know what we, you, know what, you know what us white people did with those slaves dumped on our fucking doorstep? We gave them jobs. What more do you want? Jeez. Slavery. We slavery. We are now a joke. The man who was literally laughed out of the United Nations Council. Slavery, not real. Adrenochrome, no real. Victory we cannot have. We will not bend. We will not break. We will not yield. Ever, ever, ever. We will never Sarah give Palin. up. We will never give up. And we will never, ever back down. We will never let you down. As long as we are confident. <laughs> never going to give you up. He never going to make you cry. Never. <laughs> Stand even a little 
Americans dance. Because we are Americans, and Americans kneel to God and God alone. And it is time to start talking about greatness for our country again. Americans kneel to God and God alone. Okay. Okay. So, I have a theory. So, I like this whole the whole raid on on well, not raid. It wasn't a fucking raid. The search warrant that was was conducted on Mar-a-Lago uh, happened yesterday, which is August eighth. Okay. Now, back on July thirtieth, Truth Social Media, uh, which is of course Donald Trump's uh, piece of shit Twitter alternative. Posted this uh, this this image on Instagram of eight eight two thousand and twenty two. Oh, I saw this. Yeah, I saw so, this. So this this is my fucking theory. I don't think it's too far off. I think the theory is that he was planning later on in the day yesterday post that fucking video to announce that it was going to be he was gonna go he was gonna run again, and then the whole uh, arrest warrant thing or not arrest warrant the the search warrant thing. Uh, happened and that curtailed it, but they had this thing, this thing like fucking locked and loaded, and so they just had to release it as like an inspirational fucking thing. But they're not officially announcing it yet. That's my theory. I think that the D- Department of Justice should conduct mass arrests of a ton of people associated with the MAGA movement right now. Sooner the better. Oh. Let's go. Sure, well, that's <laughs> a good theory. <laughs> Sorry, no, uh, I, I just yeah, I oh, man, fuck, I don't know. The um, the shit's been real spicy the past twenty four hours with the Mar-a-Lago raid and everything, but um, oh, yeah. I'm really holding out for that. God, Chad, I forget the fucking ruling, the Supreme Court ruling. Oh wait, fuck, we shouldn't talk about politics too much here. Um, oh, why? It, it'll get it'll get too nerdy. Um, we're tr- I'm trying to get away from that. That's all I talk about. You know about the Moore v. Harper shit. That the court will be ruling on next uh, session or the session after that, maybe. Uh, it's no, also, but I don't remember exactly what it is. Eh, basically, the conservative Supreme Court is going to be ruling on something that, if they rule a certain way, the precedent will allow uh, uh, state legislators to entirely determine uh, the nature of federal elections in that state, even if it violates state constitutional rules. So I... it's kind of like a nuclear switch that would prevent us from winning the presidency again. So anyway, I'm real worried about that. That's why I want the DOJ, Dark Brandon, to get in on this now, real quick. Got to. Damn. Uh, yeah. How soon do they go back into session, by the way? Uh, I think we have how many more months? I think we have a little while to go. And it's even not up early on the docket. I, it could be as many as like 10 months before they actually rule in that case. Got a little bit of time. A little bit of time. Well, let's enjoy. Uh, let's. Let's enjoy our democracy while it still exists, uh, ladies and germs. So. Hell yeah. Uh, I found a funny uh, Fox News video of them being all mad that uh, Trump's home got searched. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, here. And if they can do this to President Trump, what do you think they could do to the rest of us? We'll have full <laughs> breaking coverage all night long. Here now with. They fucking do. They do all the time. Ta- like, what? Okay, listen. They can do that? Wait, if you guys are freaked out by the idea that the cops can come into your home and go through your shit, wait until you find out about the fact that sometimes they'll kill you. It's going to blow your mind, dude. Especially if you're black. Whoa! I think it's really indicative of, like, the elitism on on display because you have a bunch of like republican senators like fail sons white boys born with a silver spoon in their mouth never faced consequences in their entire life killed hookers got their dad to shoo away the police you know and then this happens and they're like they're trying to think like how do i really rile up the base can you believe that in america today cops can barge into your home after getting a warrant like crickets echoing through the stadium it like it's it's insane how detached they are and now you have all these like defund the police motherfuckers like you know the law is bad now that it applies to us oh god what was the name of those what was the name of those two uh those two affluent fucking old people like one of them is running guns McCloskey's the McCloskey's. <laughs> they they like, did have a name to match their the way demeanor. she was holding her pistol she was like I remember she had like some weird way of holding a pistol. It looked so weird. We mean yeah. the, the 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 Black Lives Matter, the, the two who are on the lawn pointing at the protests. Yeah, defending their. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the homesteaders. Yeah. 
So, like, the McCloskeys are, like, an example of signaling to, to affluent boomer fucking shit. Like, uh-oh, you might have angsty Negroes on your fucking lawn sometime. Gotta strap up, blah, blah, blah. And this is, uh-oh, better watch out. Just because you're rich and white, you might get, like, fucking raided by the feds or something. Like, ah, uh, Jesus fucking Christ. It's the, so crazy. The only consistent the belief... when my boy Shkreli got raided. No, well, the only consistent belief they have is they don't think the rules should apply to them. What is what is that saying? Um, the 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 quintessential essence of conservatism is the belief that there must be two groups in society: one who the law protects. Oh wait, the FBI on my 2022 bingo card. It's the hypocrisy for me. It's the hypocrisy, egghead. Well, well that's it. it. Well, it's just you know, the, there there must be two groups: one which the law protects but does not bind, and one which the law binds but does not protect. And that's like the heart of conservatism: the maintenance of that hierarchy. And they're outraged. I mean, we know these fucks up on Capitol Hill like are just have their hands dirty with a bunch of shit. These Epstein fiend, you know, kitty fucking adrenochrome huffing. You know, we know these pieces of shit get up to it all the time, and they're basically immune to the law. The idea that the feds would raid Mar-a-Lago probably does scare the shit out of them. I don't know how many of them are aware of the, the, the idea that there's, like, even a double standard at play, and how many of them know about it and are, like, okay with it. It's, it's hard to tell. Their brains are broken. More. Fox News legal analyst Greg Jarrett, Harvard Law Professor Alan Dershowitz is with us. Greg, we'll start with you. Fucking guy's um, face. If you look at the president. Records Act, which is what we're told this is all about. I, I mean, I assume there's like a chance egg. that maybe classified documents were taken to Mar-a-Lago. Um, I understood from reports that there was a process that they were on, you know, they were going through. Uh, they said they're willing to give all those things back. Um, sure. Why didn't they just say, um, can we come over and take a look at what you why have? Why don't they just ask politely if they can come? Why don't they warn yeah. President Trump? Before it's they so come mean over. of them. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason they show up and surprise you so that you don't have time to hide things. Do you okay. think they were just banking on it becoming the next Waco? Like, <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> just get it. It was an attempt to kill Trump, not directly. <laughs> they just figured his people would start shooting. They were like, okay, you know, while we're here, the fact that they busted in like that without warning people beforehand, they warned some of the Secret Service staff, but that's it. Um, probably. <laughs> Well, because you have to warn Secret Service yeah, because otherwise they'll totally. fucking murk you. Yeah, the yeah. moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I, the fact that they were willing to do that is insane. First in, like time this has happened to a former president, and they don't even alert beforehand, and they busted open the safe, and they took boxes with them. They didn't even just investigate. They took shit away. It's actually a huge deal. You know, it's pretty crazy. Have Make sure that there's no classified documents here. Just like, why didn't they say to Peter Navarro... Uh, his attorney, have your client report at 8 a.m. at this location, or Paul Manafort, or Roger Stone. Uh, why the big show only when it's a conservative? Because <laughs> it's Donald Trump. And it, this Was there is not the a big weapon. show with uh, Clinton? Nah, they didn't even show? talk about that. Clinton? <laughs> what? They never made a big... What? No. There was, a big, there was a big show, all because there was a dress with some cum on it. Huge oh. show. Oh, I thought you meant... Benghazi and or the emails. Oh, the there are Clinton. there are a no. lot of things they freak out about with that family. I can't get past the cum dress. That'll always be the pinnacle. It should of be in the Smithsonian. It was before my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I was like a senior in high school when that stuff was going on. May, maybe junior, but for political purposes by the FBI and the Department of Justice. You're right, Sean, when you identify the Presidential Records Act of 1968, uh, 78, which is far from a model of clarity. And in fact, it's one of the more opaque laws you'll ever read. Uh, one of the problems with it is that it gives discretion uh, and authority to the incumbent president to decide what constitutes presidential papers he may so so he's saying that trump basically can just decide what's his to keep and what's not which he, he can't no yeah, no like, that's not that, how that works that's yeah not true um well by by incumbent i mean it, once the once it's biden's doj if they're like yeah those are our papers i mean income like they're, they're the ones holding office right now we're we're a year and a half into Biden's presidency. 
So leaving aside the fact that there are re regulations, even when Trump's in the presidency, Biden is. So he gets to decide. And the DOJ asked them to turn over documents. The only reason the FBI raid happened was because they suspected that Trump didn't turn over everything, which he didn't. They found documents at his place. Right. And there um, has to be, there had to be, like to have that level of a federal search and seizure, like they have to be pretty fucking sure. I think they had an inside man. I think somebody like with intimate fucking knowledge was like, yeah, no, they're here. They're here. Do you, do you think there was something about it in Alex Jones's phone records that got turned public during his court case? You know, I, I want to put on a conspiracy hat about that because the timing is really, really weird. You know, I, I maybe I don't the know. most insane thing would be if Trump was holding on to classified documents and exposing information in them, either for political gain or for money, and they realized he didn't turn everything over, when information that they found in Alex Jones' phone records recently <laughs> indicated that Trump possessed access to materials that weren't turned over when the, DO, when the uh, uh, DOJ first came for the documents at Mar-a-Lago. If that turns out to be wow. the case, that, that fucking... Alex Jones' lawyer and his malfeasance ends up <laughs> uncovering this shit, that would be insane. That's like movie that be, scandal. Yeah. That would be special. Do you think uh do you think Trump gets the nomination if he runs like no matter what? Or do you think someone will try to primary him and actually put up a fight it's, against him? I think DeSantis uh is is probably the, the biggest contender against Trump. And if Trump doesn't win a primary does he bull moose party the the republicans yes, yes. He does? Uh, yeah he okay. will the funny thing is for republicans the best thing that could happen to trump is that he dies or gets taken out of the running beforehand because you have two situations in 20 like 23 when the primaries start for the republicans either trump and desantis tear the party apart fighting with each other and then trump wins leaving the party weaker or yep. Trump loses and immediately, like the bitch boy that he is, you know, um, complains about the fake, you know, MAGAites behind DeSantis um, and, and, and tears the party apart. You know, H him being taken out of the running would actually be good for them. But I don't know if they care about that or what. Hmm. You know, the main thing, the main thing that I really hope that we get from uh, from seizing all these like sensitive documents from Mar-a-Lago is we finally get Baron's birth records and we prove that uh, he's actually Ivanka's kid. Because <laughs> we all know it is. We all, we, listen, we all know, okay? We all know. We all know. I wonder if that's even on, I wonder if that's even something you could just like find or or, or like if, if, if that's kept somewhere. I guess they keep everything, right? Uh, yeah. Jeff is convinced that Baron Trump is actually Ivanka's son and yeah. not. Uh, it just lines yeah. up with that nine month trip she took. <laughs> it does. It fucking. When she does. spent the nine months in Monaco. Nobody saw her. Nobody saw her. And, you know, there's a lot of weird, creepy stuff between Trump and his daughter. And, you know, he's a mutant. He's super. Why, yeah. tall. Why is he like seven feet tall? Well, that I'm that's excited. obviously the incestuous birth defect. It just turned out in his favor this time. I've yeah, been, I've been banging this drum for fucking years, man. Like Baron, Baron is a is is absolutely Ivanka's son. I'm he was like a normal sized little kid when Trump took office, and then all of a sudden is just like he's like literally six foot eight. No exaggeration. It's yeah. crazy. Was well, mom's what six foot? His dad's six four. Which mom are you talking about? His real mom or the one Jeff? Uh, thinks both is... of them are like tall, right? <laughs> pretty tall. They're pretty tall. Uh, it's yeah, and I, like I can, if. You. Fine. If you notice, if you look at the NBA, like there's a lot of really tall white guys from Slovenia that play in the NBA. Mm -hmm. um, so there's just a lot of height out of Slovenia, apparently. I think he got into the White House and the White House chef just kept cooking him whatever he wanted. Is that what made him tall? Yeah. He's like, hey, I'll have this. Uh, I'll have the grits today and the grits stuck to his system and he had a growth spurt. He had a baby. You know, are getting the best food over there. And Trump's pretty tall oh, himself, yeah. you know. They've got a good growing bed for, for a freakishly tall. Trump's second tallest president of all time. He's still, Under Lincoln, though, right? Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. He, They're but, both in the Wrestling Hall of Fame as well. But his 16-year-old son is, like, six inches taller than him. That's just crazy. I mean, look, like, we all we all know Ivanka. Ivanka is not going not gonna to breastfeed. So he had a baby bottle full of formula and adrenochrome, and that's why he's so fucking tall. Simple. That's a that's he's, a good yeah. I think I'll buy that. Yeah. 
healthy. It, he looks kind of awkward, though, even with all this height. He, he's a kid. Yeah, it's it's just crazy how tall he is. Your body has like, to grow into being tall. You know, you, you you're you're not used to it. Six foot seven. Within That's four, crazy. Within four years, he went from being a little kid to being a, a fucking athlete. He's a like athlete. a genetically, and they took some of Trump's DNA and genetically engineered this kid. He's I don't got, know. He's just got good stock. I'm just saying, he's 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 the Ubermensch. That's all there is to it. <laughs> this is what happens when you take the inhibitor off of white privilege. I don't know. He looks kind of <laughs> awkward when I see him. I don't know if I've ever heard his voice ever. Um, I don't know if I've ever heard Baron Trump's voice either. Yeah, yeah. They, they, there's Trump's that, probably like, shut up, don't say anything. There's that one clip of him talking about his little brother. His little brother? Yeah. He's my beautiful little brother, perfect in every way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rictus Trump. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. That's good. 